Being a small cap company and being debt free and revenue generating is always an appealing prospect for investors, small investors, investors that want exposure to companies with potential. I'm talking now to the chairman of Solar Oil, Neil Ritson. Neil, welcome. Um, I, started, I started there by saying um, debt free and revenue generating. We ought to talk a little bit about some of the assets you've got. You're big in Tanzania. Tell us more. Yeah, I mean, we, we generate revenue in Tanzania from a gas field that we bought into a few years ago. It was our proof of concept that you could both produce and get paid for gas, so that's good. Uh, and we followed on with the discovery of a large onshore gas field at Notoria, um, which has now been re-rated over a, a TCF of gas. So we're, we're, we're very happy that the system works and that uh, with additional resources we can bring those to the market. And that at the moment is what, suspended until you go into production? Uh, yes, yeah, so we have two wells there now, they've both produced at um, commercial rates and we just uh, suspended those pending a development study. Uh, we've applied for a development license and that should come through this year. Uh, we've uh, re-rated the reserves, we're just waiting for a competent purposes report to uh, confirm those and then it's um, you know it's off to uh, off to the development stage uh, we've got a big consultancy group um, with GE uh, doing the work on that and so we're confident that this is uh, something that we'll see really moving forward in the next year. When should we be expecting the CPR? Um, certainly this quarter um, it may come sooner they're, they're working on it now um, RPS are, are the uh, company chosen to do that and they're working on the data at the moment. So uh, over the next month, we'll know the, the date for issue of that, but certainly this quarter. You've got a lot more going on in Tanzania than just Notoria, haven't you? You've got the Ravuma Basin as well, I think. Yeah, uh, Notoria is in the is Ravuma it? Basin, but we've got follow-up potential there right. as well. Okay. I mean, there are a lot of exploration uh, opportunities. Uh, as the market for gas grows, there's a pipeline that takes it to Dar es Salaam now. That market is growing uh, and we're well ahead of anything that can be done from the offshore, of course. Huge reserves have been discovered offshore, but it'll take 5, 10, 15 years before those reach the market, whereas we can get to the market straight away. The other thing that we've got in Tanzania is, is helium. We've invested in an early stage helium project. Um, the dynamics uh, for helium are very compelling from a market point of view and it's worth 50 times what uh, petroleum gas is worth um, but that's an early stage project. We've made a 10% investment and we'll follow that through through the next few years. Has the potential to be a world class deposit. I said that you are uh, revenue generating. I think your revenues last year were 470 odd thousand, weren't they? Which uh, covers all your GNA. That, that uh, was what that uh, investment was there to do. It was to prove the concept that we could uh, get gas production and revenues, but also to cover our GNA. And we invested at 7.5% in the end. That was the level of investment we took because that matches our, our GNA. We're a relatively uh, cheap company to run. We don't have a large workforce because we rely on our operators. Because we're an investment company, we're not an operator. Uh, and of course that has some downside, we have to wait for their news flow, but uh, uh, it allows us to have a portfolio of, of interesting new projects coming through the pipeline. Yeah, uh, you've also got assets of course here in the UK as well, haven't you, which are uh, beginning to show some interesting results. We would know these um, as the, the Gatwick gusher I think has been. Yeah, uh, I mean a, a label which was not, you know, inappropriate, I mean the well did actually flow and at rates um, that surprised the market and certainly even surprised the technical people. Uh, these Kimmeridge uh, limestones that we've discovered um, are fractured naturally and they're flowing uh, well. At Horse Hill, uh, the Gatwick Gusher, we're um, waiting for a planning permission now to do long-term tests. The short-term tests were great but now we need to prove commerciality and that's something that uh, is very imminent. Now, actually next week the uh, planning meeting goes ahead uh, and hopefully then we'll see the test start up towards the end of the year. Yes, and, um, and like all the other assets you've got, you only own a, a small percentage of that, don't you? Is that going to change? Six and a half percent, I think. Um, yeah, we have six and a half percent there. We like something around 10, that's kind of our sweet spot. But we should remind ourselves that in Notoria, the very big gas discovery, we're at 25 percent. So we've got a lot we can do to monetize that, to use the asset, to drive its development forward. And we're looking at ways by which we might uh, partly farm down or sell that asset to pay for its development. 
Uh, but generally, we're looking at a portfolio of elements at around uh, 10, 20 percent. Is there anything else you've got your eye on at the moment? Um, as uh, as that would be telling. Um, at the moment, we're keen to get uh, Notoria through to a development stage and get it, uh, get some uh, monetization, get some return on our investment, and then we'll talk more about um, new investments. But there are plenty of opportunities out there. Mm. Okay, where do you go from here? What is the shareholder return? Something that may uh, produce some questions from the floor. How do you intend to reward shareholders? Yeah, the monetization of, of a successful um, campaign, which N Notoria has been. We, we got into the Ravuma Basin, we farmed in, we drew several wells. We've now got a, uh, a, a deposit which is large enough to commercialize. Uh, and that is the money that now needs to come back into the company, um, potentially a special dividend, but also to reinvest in, in new opportunities. Uh, our, Net asset value far exceeds our share price, and of course we want to see that um, gap diminish as well. We, you know, with more revenue, uh, more cash from our own operations, as opposed to having to raise new money, we expect that to happen over time and the share price to move, and uh, that will then also reward our, our shareholders. This is one of the big frustrations, isn't it, as a small cap uh, chairman, uh, chief executive, is how to get the message across to the point at which it values the company at the right sort of level. Market cap of 20 million. Um, of all the assets you've got here, what is the book value of what you've got? Uh, the book value is well over 100 million. So we're, we're, we've got a five-fold disadvantage, if you like, in share price at the moment. And some of that is uncertainty, some of it is risk. Um, but closing that through um, bringing ventures not just to the point of realizing resources but actually realizing cash, that's what will do that. And, and, and then we can start to recycle our investment portfolio and grow it uh, internally. So we're debt free, as you've said. We are revenue generating. We're not asking our shareholders to uh, pay any of the overheads of the company. Uh, and going forward, there's new money to come in from monetizing the ventures that we're already in. Mm. Neil, just very briefly, um, just give us a, a calendar of events that you've got coming up. You've talked about the fourth quarter and the CPR at Ravuma. Um, what else have you got coming? I mean, that's, that's going to be big news um, because it's going to be tied in very much to our monetization program. Once we can show an independent valuation of those reserves, then we can start to uh, actively monetize. The development uh, license is also important. But even more uh, than that, you know, just imminently, we've got this planning consent coming up for Horse Hill. Some tests there. It's uh, an exciting province. Uh, some of our colleagues are doing very well there at the moment, uh, testing this province, proving that it's uh, of significance to the UK. And post-Brexit, I'm sure we're going to be looking for some energy. Good. Okay. All right, Neil, thanks indeed for joining us. So Neil Ritson, Chairman there of uh, Solo Oil.